You guys, Thanksgiving, it's going to be difficult for Shelly's family tomorrow, but her mom says even though it pains her to sit inside of this courtroom, she's going to do it until they get justice for her daughter. We should be home making our Thanksgiving dinner right now, and instead I'm in court. Facing the two women who have been charged with the murder of her daughter, Shelly Stamp. Stamp was found unresponsive in her apartment on October 29th by family members who came to check on her. My daughter worked three jobs to support herself and make ends meet. These women killed her for drug money in her own home. Now Heather Anderson and Shannon Grisbach are facing several charges, including murder, robbery, assault and larceny. We are here to see that these two women are held accountable for felony murder and I will be at every appearance till the day I die. It's been almost a month since Stamp was killed. According to the prosecutor, Stamp's cause and manner of death are still under investigation. Uh, there is an outstanding issue which I talked to um, the Office of the Public Defenders about, about the release of the body uh, to the family. I know the family is quite upset. Gridspot's mom was also in court today. The suspect's mom telling us she doesn't believe that she killed Stamp. I don't believe she would hurt a fly. In the victim's family, they were sitting between me and you. They no longer have a daughter. Do you have anything to say to that? I, I, I feel for them, you know, I, I really do. It's so sad. But I believe if my daughter was behind and she knew that, she would have helped their daughter. She did, she's just not that type of person. As the wheels of justice turn, Stamp's family has a message. Justice for Shelly. That's all I have to say. Justice for Shelly. And both of these suspects, they will appear back in court here on December the 7th. For now in Waterbury, DeAndrea Turner, Fox 61 News.